Hey, what's up guys, OG Knows Best here. This is my unboxing and first impressions video of the new LG V20. Now this is a step up from the LG G5 that was released early this year. There are some similarities, but basically this is the big brother of that phone. Now in this quick unboxing, you can see it does have a USB type C cable, wall adapter, and also it has the battery outside of the phone because this is one of the very few phones of the top end type that will still allow you to replace your battery. All right, so now that the phone is fully outside of the box, we can take our first look at it. And I would say that for its size and what it's packing, it's gonna allow you to remove the battery. It's a pretty good good design phone. I would say that it does get the job done when it comes to the looks department and also how it feels in your hand, even though it does have a 5.7 inch display. Now taking a quick tour around the phone, on the bottom you'll find the USB type C port, you'll find the speaker, and also that unicorn of a headphone jack, which more and more top end smartphones are starting to lose, but LG did decide to keep that in this phone, which is a very nice addition. Now on the left hand side of the phone, you'll find the volume buttons, which in my opinion can be placed just a little bit lower on that left hand side. And then on the back, you'll find the home button, which is is also a fingerprint scanner to be able to be used to unlock your phone. And it's kind of in the right placement because this phone is kind of a big size. This is normally where my index finger rests, well actually a little to the right of it. Um, so if you never use it before, don't worry about it. It's in a pretty good place. Now right above the home button, you'll find a 16 megapixel camera, which is in a dual camera setup, just like you found on the LG G5. And this will allow you to take a normal picture just in a normal frame, but instantly switch over to a wide angle picture just by a press of a button in the software. And this also works for video and and the whole goal of this is to kind of prevent you from having to take a lot of steps and move around a lot so you can stay in one place and get two different shots. And this camera can also record video in 4K, no surprise there, but they do have their Steady Record 2.0, which should allow you to be able to take some more stabilized video while you're gonna be on the go and on the move. And with all this video, I have 64 gigabytes of internal storage to record that on, but you do have a micro SD card slot that will allow you to expand your storage, which is always a good thing. Now, enough about the hardware, it's gonna take a look at the software. And so LG has their skin running on top of Android 7.0 Nugget. Now, I haven't been a big fan of LG skin and their icons and all these things running on top of Android in the past, but they are getting better at it and I can see the improvement just with, the, with some of the way the icons look and some different navigation tweaks that have made with the software. So overall, it is getting better. Again, I still kind of personally a little bit favored to the, just the regular stock Android look. Now, just like in the V10 last year, LG has put their second screen inside of this V20. And this will allow you to have quick access to certain apps like Note taking apps or access to your clock to quickly set an alarm, but also you have uh, right at your fingertips to be able to turn off the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and things like that. So uh, it's kind of nice. You can turn it off if you don't really like to use it, uh, but this is also available when the screen is in sleep mode. So you don't have to turn your phone all the way on. You want to see just kind of certain snippets of information. And so this has been my unboxing and first impressions of the LG V20. Now this isn't the final retail device just yet. So I'm not going to be able to do it like a full on review or anything like that until they send me out the final retail version of this. And with this phone also including some really good audio features like quad DAC audio. So if you like to play back really high quality audio files, this phone will be able to allow you to do that. And so we wait to see the final finished product and really see if LG can contend for one of those top smartphone positions this year. But until then, leave your comment down below about your first impressions of the phone from what I just showed you. And also make sure you do subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on all my social networks, and also like and share this video. And thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace.